morning, it's Carolyn. Um, <clears throat> so I'm down at Snipedales. It's 5 to 8 in the morning. I've not been here that long because I was a bit lazy this morning. Didn't want to get out of bed. My um, first <clears throat> little training session since Scarfell Pike. Um, what day are we on today? The 12th of July already. Um, and I'm getting back in training for Ben Nevis for next June. A uh, little bit of a change of plan for next year's challenge. Um, I've also introduced another charity that I'm going to be fundraising for, and that's Annabelle's challenge with vascular Ellis Danlos syndrome. Uh, she's a little girl, um, she's about five or six, and she's raising money and awareness on vascular Ellis Danlos syndrome, and hopefully um, raise enough money to start some research in the UK into this disease. Boys. Um, it basically is um, people with VEDS don't have, don't produce enough collagen in their body. Um, it's basically glue and you don't stick together properly. Um, but the vascular one means your arteries and your organs um, are very prone to rupture. Uh, and <clears throat> me and my brother and my dad have also got it, so it's very close to our heart. Um, all three of us were recently diagnosed. Um, so yeah, hopefully raise some money for Break, the very safety charity, still use it, still having them as well. And then obviously little Annabelle's Challenge, uh, which I'm looking forward to. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting year this year, I think. Um, setting myself more challenges, and I need to put some more training in. Um, I was a little bit more lazy last year, I think it's because I was a little bit more ill. Um... Yeah, it's going to be good, really good, and get to go to Scotland at the end of it, it's even better. Um, I don't really know what else to say this morning, apart from Snipedales here, it's nice and murky, um, it's really warm though. Um, I've just come down that hill to go around the nature reserve, but I've just noticed they've, I think they've moved the cows down into the nature reserve, so I'm going to walk back up the hill. Um, I don't fancy trying to walk through cows on my own. As everybody knows, whoever reads and listens to my blogs, I don't like cows. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't intend to be here that long really. Just a couple of miles, stretch the legs a little bit. <clears throat> also, see how my ankle holds out, it should be better now. After twisting spring or whatever you want to call it but um see how it goes and i'll catch up with you in a little bit take care bye Right, me again, me again. Um, got just under a mile to go back to go back to the car. Um, going to leave it just about just over two miles today, just to stretch my legs a little bit. And uh, sorry, I'm just watching a bird. Um, yeah, just give my legs a little bit of a stretch. Um, and hopefully this is kick-started my training for the year ahead. Um. Uh, I forgot how nice it was to be out here this, this time in the morning. I'd like to say so I'd like to be here earlier. But um, I think I've walked through every single cobweb possible this morning so far. Um, I had a squirrel just further up the path. He tried to give me a heart attack. I was looking at um, some berries and it flew out of the bushes right in front of me. Uh, it's a shame I didn't have the camera because it looked straight at me. Uh, <laughs> did make me jump a little bit though. Um, still murky, there's tons of birds out here today. Um, normally during the day you don't see as many birds, because you know, it gets a little bit busy during the day. Um, so yeah, it's nice to get out and stretch my legs again. I'm starting to go a little bit crazy being cooped up indoors. Um, 
Also, um, it's my nephew's birthday today, so I'd just like to include happy birthday to Josh. He's 11 today. I uh, can't believe how fast time has gone or where, where have the years gone. It's only seen like yesterday that I was watching him crawl around on the floor. Um, so yeah, happy birthday, Josh. I uh, hope you have a good day and hope you get everything you like. Uh, a little message to Annabelle. Um, don't know if you'll see these training blogs, but I hope you enjoy the pictures that I put up from training. Um, and I um, can't get my words out this morning. I hope you enjoy just looking where I actually go to do my training. It's like little streams and stuff. Um, when it's a bit warmer, I do go paddling in the stream. But yeah, Annabelle, you're an amazing little girl. Um, and I'm really, really pleased to be able to do the next mountain on behalf of Annabelle's challenge with vascular ehlers danlos Syndrome. Um, so yeah, cracking little girl. Uh, keep up the good work, Annabelle, and, and her family. And hopefully I'll meet you all in the future. Right, better get cracking, get this mile out of the way, go home and make a birthday cake. And I shall speak to you all I don't know, probably next week. Um, probably Friday I'll, I'll probably get out and do a bigger training session. I'll probably go somewhere on my bike, uh, drag the bike out, dust it down. So, yeah, anyway, have a good weekend, everyone. Stay safe, uh, and I'll speak to you later. I don't know how well you can hear the birds, but if I just film for a little bit so you can listen to the birds.